I'm really excited about today's talk. Three of the top reasons why a dealer joins a 20 group. You know, franchise dealers are really familiar with a 20 group. They know what it is. They have the factory. They have reps that come by the store, whether in territory reps from the sales or the fixed ops department. And when you become a franchise dealer, it seems like it's in the blueprint that this is what a 20 group is and this is why you should join. And that's why the ratio of franchise dealers that are in a 20 group is far higher than those that are independent retail dealers and being in a 20 group. Let me just lay the foundation very, very briefly. And that is, it's been my experience, a lot of dealers, a lot of independent dealers, they don't even know what a 20 group is. A 20 group is 20 dealers that come together from all over the country, usually from different geographic areas, so you're not on top of competitors, that meet three times a year in full service hotels for about a day and a half, two days, compare their numbers, compare their financials, to network, to listen to market trends, industry trends, best practices, and listen to outside speakers, what's cutting edge, what's out there that's brand new hitting the market. This is what they come together to three times a year, all in a joint effort to pull all this together and accelerate the growth of their business. The first reason is gonna be the data. So at Smart Groups, my company and other 20 group programs, you have what's called a composite, or what we have is the Linus report. I've spent well over three or four hundred thousand dollars developing software specific for a 20 group. But why that even matters is because when you come to a 20 group, you're looking at all of your data, but you're looking at it next to the other 19 members in a group. So the data is a composite or it's a report. It's a lengthy report that analyzes your business from every different angle. Executive summaries, inventory, sales, F&I, fixed op, all the different four types of expenses, variable and direct expense, semi-operational expenses, personnel expenses, fi uh, fixed expenses. Also looking at your back end, your service, your parts, your body shop, if you have a body shop. So this report is designed to show all the data in your business. What's your profitability? What's your gross profit as a percent of your sales? What's your net profit as a percent of your sales? What's your average PVR, PRU on your units retail? If you don't know what these numbers are as I'm rattling them off, well, these are KPIs that are centric to understanding where you're at to be able to know if you're doing good or bad. A lot of times dealers don't even know where they're at on the field. You know, they're advancing the ball. You don't know if you're on the 20 yard line, the 30 yard line, the 50 yard line. You don't know if you've moved into the other territory. You don't know what's good or what's bad. If I asked you if $1,700 on the front is good or bad, if you don't have other dealers to bounce that off of and see what the industry guides are and what the other 20 group members in your in your 20 group are doing, how do you even know if that's good? And that's all in this report. Not only are your numbers in there, but the other 19 dealers sets of data is in there next to yours. In fact, we look at about 20 different categories that are ranked in order from best to last. And as car dealers, we love competition, right? You don't wanna be on the right hand side of the page or the right page. That means you're in the bottom 50% of your group on a particular category. It's interesting, you may be number one at inventory, your frozen capital may be the lowest in the group, but you flip the page to sales and you're 17th in gross profit on front end gross profit. But what's interesting is if you're able to stack up where you're at, where your operation is in each one of these critical categories and hundreds of KPIs against a peer group. So you can see what they're doing compared to you. And it's invaluable. I mean, it's invaluable. I use an example and I've used it for years when I talk to dealers about a 20 group. You lease a copy machine and let's say it costs you $12 per car sold to lease that copy machine. And you get to a 20 group and you're sitting around the room and everybody else in the room is renting their, or leasing their copiers for $8 per car sold. And the best guys in the room are leasing their copier for $4 per car sold. And you're sitting there saying, I'm paying 12 bucks per car sold for this, to lease this copier. How in the world are you doing it for $4? Raise your hand, hey, how are you doing that for $4? Please let me know. Oh, well, it's one, two, and three. Yeah, I'm using this company. They were terrible. Their customer, their customer support was terrible. Their equipment was terrible. We went to this company, then we went to this company and boom, we found this company. You should call them. Hey, by the way, my, my rep's name is Joe. This is the deal he gave me. And you're like, oh my gosh, you put that in your bag. You go home, you call up Joe, boom. You went from 12 to $4 leasing your copier. Now take that, just that small example of leasing a copier and multiply it times a thousand in your business. 
That's the power of the data that we look at in a smart group. Several years ago, I was in Tampa and I was doing a 20 group for large dealers, mega dealers. I mean, these guys were averaging three, 400 sales a month. We we're looking over the Linus report and one of the dealers in the room was charging $99 as an admin fee or doc fee. You may know it as a doc fee on every card sold. And everybody in the entire room was like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? And I was one of them. I'm cheerleading, right? I'm like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? $99, do you have a state maximum? And he said, well, no, we don't have a state maximum. Well, then why are you only charging $99? So the whole group, and I was probably the ringleader, was challenging him to go back and move his doc fee from $99 to $299. Well, he was selling 350 cars a month. At $99, it's about 35 grand a month. He went home, he didn't feel comfortable doing the 299, he put his toe in the water and he bumped his dock fee to 199. The, the $100 bump that he learned from that 20 group was taking him from $35,000 in admin fees to 70 grand in one meeting, in a day and a half meeting. 70 grand a month times 12, times five years, and I joke with him now, and I was like, listen, you understand that that, that five-minute session just paying for your 20 group for the rest of your life, you better never quit. But that's the power of the data. Those are the small things that you can extract from the data when you're looking at your specific numbers against everybody else's in your peer group. We also have what's called a benchmark in the 20 group. It shows you the average of the top 50% of everybody in our smart groups network. So you can see how your numbers stack up against the best of the best. How do you get up to the best of the best, past that group average and on to the best of the best? When you come to a 20 group and you look at the data, it gives you some sort of confidence, some sort of belief that if they can do it, I can do it. I mean, maybe I can't do it quite as well as they can, but I can at least go from a C to a B. Maybe I can't be an A tomorrow, but I can go from being a C to a B and I can move the needle. And it gives you that belief that so many other dealers that you're networking with, and when you get to know them and you start building some of that personal relationship, you start to realize that these aren't super men, these aren't super women. And you start to learn that they put their pants on the same way. They're not bulletproofed and 10 foot tall. They're just like you struggling every day fighting the good fight. So if they can be so much better in this area, gives you the confidence that you can too. And that's a powerful part of the data that we view in a 20 group. Outside of the data, another reason why dealers will join a 20 group is for the best practices. Most meetings we come prepared for each dealer to give a five to 10 minute presentation on a best practice that's tried and true that's proven, it's not theory, something they're doing in their dealership that's working and winning. And we gamify it, you know, everybody throws a hundred bucks in a pot, everybody votes on how likely am I to take this idea and deploy to my dealership when I get home? Or, you know what, a one, this is a terrible idea, I would never do this. But listening to these best practices, it's amazing what comes out of it. And you know, I get asked to speak all over the country because I own a 20 group company and tell the entire audience and dealers, the top five or the top 10, best practices from a 20 group and it's confidential. I wish I could. I mean, I could literally get even more speaking spots than I have across the country now, but I'll give you an old one just as an example. You know, about 10 years ago, maybe 15, gosh, you know, time flies. A best practice was to put a We Buy Cars ad, an advertisement in the classified section of the newspaper in the obituary section. Grandpa, grandma dies. They've got that old marquee sitting in the garage. It's got 12,000 miles on it. They've owned it for eight years, never drove it. It's in perfect condition. The tread is perfect. It's just sitting there and they pass away, unfortunately. And then it's inherited or passed down to their, their sons or their daughters. And they don't want to drive a marquee. They don't have a use for an extra car. So, you know, a dealer put forth this best practice of putting these classified ads of the, we will buy your cars in the obituary section. And what a great idea you know, back when newspapers were a thing. Now I'm giving you a dated best idea, but these best practices are happening right now in 20 groups all over the country. And if you're not in one, you're missing out on these ideas that you haven't thought of that other dealers, these are smart individuals just like you. They're entrepreneurs, small business owners, they're grinding it out, they're guerrilla marketing, they're figuring out how to get more market share and sell more cars and do more service, how to lower expenses and increase profits. They come up with some great ideas. And if I don't know about you, but it's worth a day and a half investment every four months for me to go uh, sit in a hotel room to listen to the ideas that these dealers come up with that I just may have never thought of. The most difficult for me to explain 
is the networking and the relationships that you make in a 20 group. Now listen, a lot of people think a 20 group is a country club, you know, a, a click, the good old boy club, where you get together in three or four times a year and you're paying for dues to, to have friends that are kneelers. But I gotta tell you, in my experience, there are deep relationships that are built in these 20 groups. You do connect with a certain amount of the members in your group very closely. It's not uncommon for dealers to vacation together or to hop managers back and forth between 20 group meetings for uh, improving their operations. I'll give you a couple examples of this. We use this all the time in smart groups. And that is if you're struggling in sales, let's say you're struggling in front end gross profit and your sales managers can't quite figure it out, but you know two or three members of your, your smart group that are really killing it in front end gross profit, putting that manager, and maybe you going with them, I'd highly recommend that, it's more valuable, on a Southwest flight, staying in a courtyard Marriott for one or two nights. I mean, you're talking about spending a couple hundred bucks, 24 to 48 hours, taking your, your top manager, let's say in sales and yourself, to somebody that's doing double what you're doing on the front end gross and going in there and hanging out for a day and looking inside and behind the curtain of their dealership. What are they doing different? Is it different banks? Is it better people? Is it a different process? But being able to look behind the curtain to those dealers that are really just killing it, could be fixed stops, could be parts, could be body shop, could be expenses in accounting, could be title clerk, could be BDC. There's lots of different members of your team that could go to these other dealerships that are in your 20 group and really learn in 20, I mean, it doesn't even take all day. In fact, uh, it's been my experience when dealers will travel to other members of their group to look behind their curtain, they don't even stay there all day. They may be there four or five or six hours looking for some real specific knowledge getting a real clear picture of what that dealer is doing that's different than what we're doing at home. Make a bunch of notes, record it into your phone, pack it into your bag, go home and deploy. That's real powerful. And that's part of the network. You know, I don't, you probably for sure dealt with some large personnel issue in your dealership. You've got a family member that you wish wasn't involved. You've got uh, someone that hired that you're best friends with, your spouse is involved or you got a key person that's turning rogue on you and you're sitting at home at night around a fire pit, maybe having a cocktail, trying to figure out what in the heck to do with this person, how to solve this personnel problem. And who do you talk to? You know, I mean, you can try and talk to your spouse, but unless they're working alongside you, holding the hands in the journey, they probably don't really understand anything about your car business. Your competition across the street, good luck asking them, if they did give you an answer, it would probably be the wrong one intentionally, just so you'll fail. You could talk to your buddies. They might be able to give you some type of uh, advice, but they don't really understand your business. You could talk to your key managers, but you know, we've got that arm's length distance and we probably want to keep a level of professionalism against including some of our managers and some of our top level decisions. Or do you talk to about the hard stuff? And that's the beauty of a 20 group. It's the most difficult thing to explain until you've experienced it. But getting around and building a network, building a support network where I got to struggle with a, a personnel issue. I got 19 people on speed dial that I can step outside in private and call and say, hey, here's what, here's my dilemma. What would you do? I would do this. Have you thought about this? Made me think about that. And I get 19 different perspectives from people that are walking in my shoes and are going through the same struggles I'm going through at their dealership. But I can guarantee you, you call 19 of those peers and you're gonna get four or five golden phone calls that are gonna give you plenty of ideas to choose from that'll help you navigate through these challenges. You know, these are the top three reasons in my opinion, and there's more, I could give 10, but for brevity, I picked the top three in my opinion, it's the data, the best practices, industry trends, what's going on in the market, the guest speakers, there's a lot I could talk about. And then also this network or this support to join a 20 group, whether it's a smart group or another, typically there's no obligation to go check one out. I'd highly recommend as a dealer, it's gonna be the best ROI for the expense, it's cheap. Our smart group membership is 299 bucks a month. I mean, it's about as cheap as anything that you've got. And for the value that you get in return, it's unmatchable. There's no other thing that you can spend 300 bucks on a month 
and get the return that you can get on a smart group. If you're not familiar with the smart group or a 20 group, smart20groups.com, you can check our URL out. I think it's in the link below. And if you don't join a smart group, that's okay. I'd highly recommend you check out another program. We think ours is the best. We're high energy. We bring the fire in smart groups and really create and cultivate an environment where you can grow, learn, build that network, build that support in those relationships with dealers to take your business to the next level. Please feel free to go on Google, check out our reviews. We got a whole bunch of reviews from dealers all over the country that have left reviews. If you got a comment, love to hear it. You got some feedback. Maybe you're in a 20 group and you'd like to share with the community of what it's done and with the value that it's brought to your dealership. Be sure to like and subscribe just like your dealership. That's the way we grow is through referral. So appreciate your subscribing to the channel and liking. And also check out smart20groups.com. That's our website. There's a whole bunch of facts and information you can get on the website about what a 20 group is and feel free to reach out to me directly my email is justin at arc that's arc dealers.com justin at arc dealers.com if you got a question about a 20 group i'd be happy to respond to you seriously consider getting in a 20 group get the information check out the facts and it's going to bring you the most value for your investment